what's the deal, baby? What's the deal, baby? So look, I know it's been a minute since we last did a um a reaction, you know, but I had to get some new equipment, had to get some things in order. So now that I got everything together, I'm gonna be coming out with stuff consistently. So let me tell y'all about the video we about to watch. I'm sure you can already tell by the thumbnail. Yesterday morning, um, I woke up and I had Kevin Samuels on my mind. Pause. You feel me? Bro, I used to watch Kevin Samuels Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know what I'm saying? And I used to love the hell out of Kev, bro, because he used to kind of just give it to women just straight up. You know, unless I get it twisted, I mean, I am real enough to admit that some things Kev was saying was kind of overboard, but I feel like anybody that ever watched his show also realized it was some true delusional women on his show. You know what I'm saying? So I decided that I feel like it will be a good thing to watch. Uh, what is it? Kevin Samuels 21 most savage moments You know what I'm saying So I think I'm going to split this up in two parts Because I think the whole video is like 30 some minutes And y'all ain't trying to see I'm sure some of y'all trying to see me for 30 minutes But 30 minutes is a long ass time You feel me So let's get straight to it Uh, Right now baby Yeah I'm asking about ranking And what's the problem with ranking women Um I think I, I do agree that we rank everything in life. Um, women, I wouldn't say that we rank. I would use a different word. I think we categorize men, um, which may be a type of ranking. But um, I mean, <laughs> dog, look at Kev's face, bro. <laughs> Disappointed, fam. So when you say ranking, are you referring to you're comparing them? Yes. To each other or just to your standard? Yeah. No, see, you're 32. Mm -hmm. You have been married? No. Any children? Not yet. Uh huh. Well, when a man asks you to go out, you decide what man you give your information to and what man you don't give your information to. That's a ranking. How tall are you? 5'5. Five, 5'5. Five. Five, five. Do you care if a man is of only 5'6 when you date him? Um, that, that's a ranking. The pause is a ranking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, see, y'all have no problem. Y'all got no problems with ranking men. If a man was working, and have a savage, bro. Making fifteen dollars an hour, would you marry him and be with him for the rest of your life? If that's all he was gonna make, you know, fifteen dollars, thirty-seven thousand is what the median income for a man in this country was. You'd be happily married to him and submit to him for a lifetime. Um, if he's married to me, he's pre that's going to change. So no, 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 no. I said he's just an average, an average man. See, y'all all think you have I, the power. No, no, no. See, y'all all think you have the power of Thanos to make shit be not what it is. I said if a man was just an average earning man. See I, the fact I, that you I, can't I, even. Yeah, I, I, I can't. You're right. I can't live off that because. Sure, you can. If anything were to happen, um, to to me, and if he would have to take care of everything. I wouldn't be able to sustain like I would have to what do you mean you couldn't sustain I mean there half the country's doing that I mean like I, I would have to um change some things if 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 we were living just off his income I would have to to change a lot side note fam um her eyelashes is way too long bro she just looks super dialed up. You know what I'm saying? Like super duper. You go to college? Back to it, my bad. I did. Bad. I'm a little <laughs> turd. Did, did your mother go to college? Um, She didn't. Did your father oh, go to did, college? Did, did your father yeah. go to college? He has a trade. Uh -huh. So your mother and father didn't go to college. They made you. And it's funny that the very people who come from nothing got so high of a standard for the next group of men. What does a traditional housewife entail? Well, you tell me, because you said you're not one. <laughs> uh, you picked the right one. You know, housewife, <laughs> I'm just imagining kind of being a slave. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? What the hell? Why is being a traditional woman considered being a slave, bro, in 2022? I mean, like, everybody, 
I'm black. Everybody that's on this little thing right here is black. Bro, slavery was in our genetics, bro. We know what a slave is. So for her to even bring that up, it's just like, damn, we all got roles, man. We all got roles. So, let me stop you right here. Let me stop you right here. This is why I fuck with Sam. Uh, Kev. Kev Sam. See you there. Right here. Let me stop you right here. Mm-hmm. Where are your people from? Uh, my mom's from Trinidad and my dad's from Jamaica. So I see that. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why? We don't need white. We don't need white supremacy, racism. Well, now we got is this: that you think that the women who came before you were slaves. <laughs> it's not. It's not that necessarily, but just what I'm seeing in in the media and just all around me. I see women trying to be this Look housewife for men, traditional housewife for men. And they're just getting like... What are you talking about? When women... A woman who's... Mm, let's do it. Let's do it. Traditional housewife. What media are you talking about? Uh, So let's... Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I want you to define what traditional uh, housewife... No, 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 no. You can't... Traditional you, housewife no, no. is being home... You can't over talk me. That's how we, no, no, we don't do that. Stick okay. Down. okay. What media are you talking about? Social media... Where do you see traditional housewives in social media? Everywhere. Do you? Well, I mean, that I know of, just women getting taken care of and not working. No. So that's what a traditional housewife is, taking care of and not working. To me, yes. Oh, okay. So, uh, and that's getting the shit into the stick? <laughs> uh, from what I've seen so far, yes. Delusion. So you're supposed to teach her how to be a wife. How to be a wife, yeah. So how to be a wife, you can learn that from your... Bro, what is up with this prehistoric TV in the back? I mean, Jesus. I mean, I think flat screens and um, LEDs and all... I mean, flat screen TVs has been a thing for at least 10 years at this point. What the hell is that in the back? I'm sorry, y'all. Let's get back to it. Your mother, yes, but I was raised by my father. Now, my mother is in my life right now. But I could say that my father taught me how to be a wife or a woman to a man. I could say that. And how to be one, exactly. Because the way women teach us how to be a wife and the way men teach us how to be a wife are completely two different. Are you married? No, I'm not. I was engaged, but I'm not married. See, men teach, men customize women for them. See, but that's the thing. My father didn't customize oh, oh. I'm 31. Cut her off. What do you want to talk to me about? Um, you know, I'm a boss woman. I just was out at my booth, you know, doing my pop-up shop today. And I went to college. And I believe that I can have a family one day. I believe okay. that. How many kids you got? No kids. Okay. You believe you can have a family? Okay. Yeah. I well, believe I, I can meet my match. Hold on, I believe hold on, that hold I can find on, someone on. that. Roll it back now, no. no. I'm sorry. You don't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't over talk. That's one thing you don't. I'm sorry. I'm getting people go to my page, my website, because I'm talking to you. So it's like, wow, I was well, shocked that. Well, turn off the comments and have the conversation. I don't like her. I don't like her already, fam. We, we Let's see. talk. Help me out, Kevin. I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, if you already have it all figured out, why you need my help? I mean, I want to help your your viewers too see my point of view and talk to you and have a conversation. I don't think my I don't think my viewers want to hear a woman tell them anything. I don't want to tell them. I want to answer your questions. I, you said you want to talk to me. Go ahead. You, I just want to talk you want, about you your conversation to, what, about how I can meet my match. How can I make? I don't my know match. what your match is. I don't know what your match is. What do you want? I'm not feeling hurt. I want someone that, you know, can match my drive, my ambition, you know, someone that can bring to the table what I bring to the table as a woman. You know, I want someone that can meet, you know, my match. Mm-hmm. How's that working out for you? It's been working out great, but, you know, honestly, I don't oh, think that- <laughs> Bro, Kev is undefeated. Defeated, even in his death, bro. He is undefeated, fam. Look at his, look at his face right here. As at this point in my career, or what I need to focus on, like 
I just want to focus on myself. And then when I get to a level where I'm comfortable, you know, I want to settle down and that's what's in my vicinity. Okay. Before we get to the next one, you want to focus on yourself and then you want to settle down. But see, the thing is what life is, life don't wait for anybody. You know what I'm saying? So this whole time while you quote unquote focusing on yourself, who said that it's going to be time for you to have a family or find a potential mate? You know, so it's kind of like the older I'm getting, I'm 29, by the way, the older I, I get, the more I kind of see that, you know, all the extra stuff in life that we focus on is just extra. We really supposed to have been trying to find a, our mate and start a family early on, like 19, 20, 21. You know what I'm saying? Like around those A's. But see, now we 29, 30 starting to think about family. And this is like, fam, a great portion of our of our life is gone and we still got a lot of life to live but we going about it so wrong especially baby girl because i can't think of one dude that would want to be with her she look annoying you did what i'm saying let's get back to it 17. what percentage of men earn six hundred fifty thousand dollars or more well from the conversation i heard you speak about earlier um it sounded like it was less than 10 percent 10% of men earn $100,000. Okay. Top 5%, around quarter of a million. 300,000, you start dropping around 3%. You get over 500,000, you're talking about 1%. And you're talking more than that. So you're talking about a fraction of a percent. So if he can meet, so if a man, they can meet that, and how tall, you said, how tall, five what? Say that again. How tall are you again? You said you're five what? I'm five 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 eight with heels. Okay, so how tall does he need to be? Um, she seemed real pleasant. I like this lady. This this lady, she seemed, you know what I'm saying. She real gentle. You can tell she liking her feminine energy. She's open. She's willing to listen. This lady deserves somebody great, especially if she's like this on a regular basis. You know, she could just be like this with Kev because she know. Kev would cut into that ass like no other. You feel me? But she real cool. I like this little lady. I'm anywhere like 5'8 and taller. I'm flexible. Okay. Uh, if this man can meet your socioeconomic standard, which is rather on the higher side, I think it's fair to say you can meet most women's. What do you think a man who makes that kind of income, what are some of the things they would want from a woman? I definitely feel they want a baddie, for sure. A what? A baddie, like they want somebody who is like mm -hmm. a 10 and 10, for sure. Um, somebody who's well kept, well put, dresses well, speaks well, um, articulate, great conversation, and be in a crowd with anybody and be able to be put together. You just described a man. I described a man? Mm -hmm. You're, you're describing the prototypical Tyler Perry sex in the city uh, metro female fantasy. <laughs> you said you had a nine year marriage that you that you divorced from and you had a relationship that you left because he was cheating. Yeah. And you never cheated. I have. Exactly. And how long ago did that, did, did that end? About maybe seven years ago. And what have you been doing since then? Well, that's when I started working on myself. Because but see, that's the, that's what I don't understand. Seven years, man. I'm not 37 or 44. Jesus <laughs> Christ, how long are y'all supposed to French toast work? <laughs> what do you need from a man financially? For him to hold it down. What does that mean? So what that means is, you know, as a woman, and put a dollar value on it. Don't 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 get a uh, yearbook answer. Um, get straight to it. At least at least a minimum of six figures. Minimum. <laughs> <laughs> My problem is is that I tend to attract narcissists, and I'm. The 
narcissism is a word that these ladies has learned within the past like year and a half. You know what I'm saying? I feel I never heard the word narcissist or narcissism before 2020. You know what I'm saying? It's been from 2020 on up. I didn't heard narcissists at least 2000 times. But before 2020, I have never heard the word. I ain't gonna say never, but I've heard it probably 80 times pre 2020 and 2000 times post 2020. Oh my Jesus, I hate this word now. The complete opposite of a narcissist, like a board. Oh, okay. Um, and I know I'm, I'm literally saying, like, I'm, I'm board is the a, truth. Board is the reason a lot of women leave, but see, so honestly, what, what, what men hear is there's no reason to be a good guy because, you know, when I was a good guy, women left me, but when I became a player, that's yeah. the worst problem. Gotta keep it pee. Gotta keep it It's not many options. That's another thing. Oh, there are plenty of options. 51% 50, of black men are single and childless, 64% in the middle class. See what they're not- But allowed. a lot of them are ugly. Oh, oh, no, 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 first off, check that. Because you start that shit, I'm gonna get real raw with you. But it's they- I'm gonna get real raw with you, check that shit. Because I have not made any, any presumptions about looks or anything with you, so I'm not gonna insult men. You can't. I look a mess now, but I don't think I have to settle with a man that I don't find. Okay, handsome. let's do it. What would you rate yourself on a scale from one to ten? Just your face. You cannot use seven. A ten. Get the fuck out of here. Get the hell out of here, boy. You can't be serious right now. You can't be so far lost in the sauce right now. A whole ten? What Cam got to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor baby. Now let's try this again. So I'm not you are not the most beautiful woman in the world. Cosmopolitan ain't trying to get you to be on the cover. People ain't de deemed you one of the most beautiful women in the world. You first thing you came out of your mouth, you said you're a ten, and you're not a ten. My face is not a ten. I don't have no makeup on, and my hair is not done, and this is all real hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, all right. I think I'm definitely a ten. Cool, I bet you do. So, when, when was the last time you did any, any runway modeling or print modeling? I've never been involved in that. Why not? Tens. That's what tens do. Not all tens. Oh yeah, not all tens. But you know what? You live in New York, right? Mm -hmm. Right. See, when you're a 10, people discover you at the bank, at the bodega, at the gym. That happened when I was younger. My yeah, father yeah. Okay, and we're going to keep on moving. You're not a 10. You're living in, and, and a lot of you ladies just say this shit because. You said I'm not like, a 10. You're not. You're not a 10. What would you rate me as? My fam, like, you can't be that delusional, bro. Like, I know I'm a handsome cat. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure nobody will argue that. But, man, I'm not no damn Idris Elba. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't dare throw myself in the Idris category. I mean, I would like to be as handsome as Idris. I'm sure my mama think I'm as handsome as Idris. But fam, you you got to live in reality, fam. Like, first off, you could tell by the slight background, baby girl, you're not a 10. 10s get scooped up so fast, bro. It don't even make no sense. Or, let's just get back to it. I'm not gonna, no, no, you're not a 10. Because you're writing yourself up there with Rihanna and Halle Berry when she was young. That's what you're writing yourself. What would you give yourself on a scale from one to 10, fresh face out of the shower, your natural hair, you cannot use seven. On a regular schmegla degla day, I'd say maybe a six. Okay. I would give you a six. And a six is cute. A five is average. Mm -hmm. So if you're a cute woman, that's one step above average. Okay. Average means average. You look at your look in your 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 family history, and most people are average, right at the top of the bell curve. But if you take an av if you take a cute woman mm -hmm. who's overweight mm -hmm. that adjusts her S and V up or down. Down. Thank you. So that makes her average as a, that makes as those two numbers they kind of average out. You would be an average woman. 
And as an average, about an average woman in this country, an average black woman, the average black man in this country earns $41,500 for a lifetime. No more, no less. No Herculean methods, no lottery, no businesses. That's what he's going to make. That's your husband. But what if I have degrees? Thank you. See? <laughs> See? I want you guys to understand. She just asked me. And I told her, yeah, what is a woman has her SMV? Now, these women actually think because they can make themselves higher SMV because of a degree. That does not work. Men have never picked women based upon your degree. That is why you could be on fries at McDonald's, but if you look like Kelly Rowland, you can marry a millionaire. But you could graduate from Harvard, but if you look like Precious, you ain't got nothing coming. <laughs> Not precious. But a lot of my Jewish friends were married during college. And exactly. Like, and so when I asked- Hold up, hold up. Who, which one, what's going on here? Who is this on the bottom and who the hell is this on the top? You, why aren't you married? You, you look like I asked you something difficult. Why aren't you married yet? No, no, I don't think it's difficult. Um, don't want to get married this young? I'm, I, I, I love my boyfriend. Uh -huh. I'm happy being in a relationship. Right, you better say that shit because he's going to see the video, but you, but he, but why aren't you marrying him yet? Um, he wants to get married. Okay, so he's broke. No, he's not broke. So he's, so he's, so what's wrong with him? Nothing's wrong with him. So, let me get this right. He's not broken. He wants to marry you, but you don't want to get married. What's wrong with you? Oh, uh, I never said I don't want to get married. Well, I asked you, why aren't you married? We're just not married yet. How long have you been together? We've been together. We're going on two years. Why aren't you married? I'll take the six months. So let me get this right. He wants to get married. Yes. He's told you he wants to marry you. Yes. And you told him to go buy a ring. And he has it. Oh, I have a ring, yeah. He's dropped on one knee and proposed to you. Yes. And you said what? Of course I said yes. You, but we hold, just on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, of course you said yes? Uh, that would make a fiance, not a boyfriend. I mean... No, 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 no. I was very clear. He well, dropped so, on one knee, well, ring, proposed, you said yes. That makes a fiance, not a boyfriend. Who is this on yes. the bottom? So why are you calling your fiance your boyfriend? Because it's very new. That's bullshit. Most women who That's are not it's not no, That's no, not no that is bullshit. That, that is bull. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. When women get no, when women not. get engaged to a man they like and they got a ring, they can't wait. No. <laughs> Close That's up. why I think about the threshold. Okay, so there are mm -hmm. several things I'm thinking about, and then I know strategy. So I could take a plumber and and have him having it. Hold up, bro. This lady from Detroit. This lady from Detroit. I know. I'm I'm in Detroit, bro. She talks so aggressive. Why is she talking so aggressive? Listen to our business because that's the way that my mind works, and so I would make that. Look, look, look. She talks so aggressive. Look at Cam. Cam, like, God damn. Calm down. And what the hell is this in the background? This is what I want to know. And why are you talking so aggressive? Jesus. This is like a damn English professor just barking at you. Damn. Work for us. Put your penis up. <laughs> Somebody you laughing. You, you see what you just did? I just you, you see what you just did? See how I, I gave you I gave this. you a man who's I gave you a man who's out doing just fine on his own and you got to go make him make him earn one and, 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 and be like you. Yeah. That ain't gonna work, boo. Yeah, it's true. not. So you're gonna emasculate the hell out of him. Because it's like, well, now I'm trying. I, I've been, Thomas, you've been a plumber for 20 years and you just happy. Yeah. But now she's got me trying to have a truck and this and that going over here. And that, but why? Well, because she's used to working bags. And, you know, she thinks we can become accredited investors. And it, 
And what's that going to be like sitting up in the bed on Sunday when Thomas wants to sleep in? Hey, you know, you should get up and start that website. We can do this. We can do that. Now, you see why I say somebody got to be on the same frequency as me, somebody that enjoys preparing and creating but you're on the, the masculine next frequency. Oh, okay. You're not on the right, you're on a masculine frequency. Yeah, you tough, baby. Okay. So if you want somebody on that, okay, are you all right being one of five? Oh, I already had that scenario, and I, I didn't like that. Well, then are you all right with letting Thomas just be? She from Jackson, Mississippi, or Birmingham. But regardless, baby, you too tough. You way too tough, tough ass girl. You're not going to accept Thomas. Why does Thomas have to be my scenario, though, when I'm surrounded by men that are like engineers and other, they don't you know, want baby mamas? They're 40 years old. Because they don't want baby mamas? She a baby mama. They're 40 years old. And she a 40 year old baby mama. God damn. Look. <laughs> Look, we're going to stop it right here. We're going to say these last nine for another day probably tomorrow look that's about the midway point damn near so look y'all look 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 let's get let's get back to the there we go all right y'all so look we cleared the first 11 of kevin samuel savage moments man we're gonna say the last nine for um another day probably tomorrow i'm gonna try to be so i'm gonna try to be so consistent with these uploads but like i said man Kev, Kev was always on it. Damn, I just hit my knuckle. Uh, Kev was always on it, man. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. We we, we need another Kev, man. I, I I wish I had the heart just to be brutal. I could be brutal, but man, Kev, man, I need some big shoes to fill in, man. You feel me? So, with that being said, y'all, if y'all enjoyed this, make sure y'all like the content. Make sure y'all subscribe. That's the most important thing. Subscribe. You feel me? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, drop a comment. If y'all want me to do something else, man, uh, react to something else, man, I'm thinking about doing music videos. I'm thinking about doing uh, little stuff like this. I really want to do something with Derrick Jackson because Derrick Jackson, this mofo just got caught up doing some more stupid stuff. So you already know what it is. Look, Rob React signing out, baby. Till next time. Yeah.